and Leona Lewis is really good at it too. When she sings in falsetto, yeah, she still has nice. this very nice um, overtones and kind of a bright quality. And everything you change from your lips to the tip of your tongue, to the middle of your tongue, to the back of your tongue, to your soft palate and your pharynx and all the way back to your larynx. Like every millimeter pretty much from all the way from the front to the back can be moved and it can be you know in different ways and in different degrees so all of these parts can shape the way your sound comes out so sometimes you want to move it a little further back to have us to, to try to change the sound and sometimes it's a little more front like maybe just the back of your tongue maybe it's sometimes a little farther back like behind your uvula all of that that can also be moved and when you do falsetto i feel like like ah. now i'm basically relaxing the back of my tongue to where it's just pretty high and i'm not doing much i'm not keeping it open on purpose and so i have a little i have a sound that doesn't have a lot of nice kind of silvery you know spinning kind of tones it's more like ah. that's what really puts a lot of strain on my vocal cords because I, yeah. I just have to push it i think what's really helpful to find that really spinny kind of sound is when you think of a classical soprano that is the other extreme but it's like ah. This is like way open, okay? We don't want to be that much. <laughs> so in between, still a little bit breathy, but it's not, uh, but it's also not, uh, it's, uh, uh, I can sound silvery. Yeah. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> it's really it's really between it's not as far back as classical because in classical like everything is open everything it's like from before you know from in front of your um uvula all the way soft palate and you know back of your tongue all the way back to your larynx the higher you go the lower your larynx gets you know, as you're trying to kind of the resonating space longer and longer and bigger and bigger. But in falsetto, you can really do a little of that. I would suggest you experiment on just one vowel, probably do an ah, but try to change resonance without moving around too much. Yeah, just try to find what it is that's moving. It's not your jaw. Okay, so it's like ah. experiment with it it's really a lot about experimenting and finding that feeling it's like okay i can move like the tip of my tongue i can move the larynx i can move the pharynx i can move like more my soft palate and finding exactly where that is to make it darker brighter um more resonant less resonant you know just don't don't move your jaw that's usually what happens it's like you do all these things <laughs> But then yeah. you don't really know what you're doing because it, it's not that that's changing that resonance here. It does have to do with it a little bit. It basically changes the vowel when you like a lot of this. Makes me feel sad for the rest. I'm being gay and reckless. Oh, 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 oh. Anything is possible. 